Hey, I'm Doc North. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Rosaria Melt team. This team is made up entirely of four star characters, and the team's damage comes from Melt and Reverse Melt. And yeah, this team actually does a lot of damage. So let's talk about the builds for these characters. Starting with Bennett, you want to have him on four piece noblesse, and you just want to give him at least 200 or close to 200 energy recharge. That's really it and you want to give him the highest base attack weapon you have for his attack transfer. You can build a DPS Bennett sort of like me with, with crit rate and crit damage and a power damage cup. He will do decent damage if you do build him like this. As you can see on the screen, the damage that Bennett does is nothing to laugh at. It's pretty good. So you can build him DPS if you can. Otherwise, just get energy recharge, give him a high base attack weapon, put him on 4 piece noblesse and you'll be fine. For Shang Ling, you want to get around 180 energy recharge, which for me is good enough. You can go higher if you want, but this is the sweet spot for me. Again, you don't want to try and go super low ER on her because you don't want her to bottleneck the entire team. As this is a quick swap team, you want to be able to rotate everyone's burst as quickly as possible and hopefully off cooldown. For Shang Ling's artifacts, I'm using 2-piece Emblem and 2-piece Wanderers because these give me the best substats for her. These are also pretty good for her. The best set for her though would be 4-piece Emblem or 4-piece Crimson or 2-piece Crimson, 2-piece Emblem, 2-piece Wanderers or any of the double attack sets will work fine on Shang Ling. The weapon I'm using is Dragon Spain on Shang Ling which is really good for star weapon for her. It gives her a lot of elemental mastery which is what you want in a reaction based team. Now for the energy recharge for Rosaria, she has a constellation which is this which generates energy for her. We're also using Chong Yun in the team who will also generate cryo energy for the team. So you can go low ER on her if you have C4. But if you don't have C4, you might want to go a little bit higher than what I have here. You might want to go maybe 160 if you don't have a C4 Rosaria. But what I have here for with C4 and a Chong Yun in the team is completely fine. As for weapons, I'm using Favonius Lands, which is where most of my energy on her comes from. The passive makes her a really good battery for the entire team. You can use other energy recharge weapons like the Catch, which will also be really good on her. And if you're really desperate for energy, you can use Star Glitter. Not very good, but it's okay if you really need the energy. Apart from that, if you want to use her for crit rate transfer, you can go for crit weapons like the Jade Spear, the Battle Pass Spear. There is also a 3 star weapon for crit rate that you can use, but only use this if you don't care about her damage at all, which is not something I would recommend as she does do a lot of damage. But if you really have no options, this is an option. As for artifacts, I'm using double attack set, which is what gives me the best substats without having to strip my other characters. You can use 4-piece emblem on her as she does need around 150 ER. Apart from that, you can use two, any other 2-piece attack sets, 2-piece noblesse, 2-piece emblem. You can also use 2-piece wanderers for the EM as she will be melting quite a lot. And at last, we have a level 60 Chong Yun with uh, level 9 talents. I haven't even built him and he still works fine in this team because this team is really powerful. Now Chong Yun's burst cost is only 40 which is the lowest in the game. So you don't need any energy recharge on him at all, especially as you have Rosaria in the team as well. As for weapons, I have Serpent Spine on Chong Yun for the crit rate. You can also use Sacrificial Greatsword, which I've seen a lot of people do. It gives him energy recharge. It also lets him hit his skill twice, which is more energy, but his skill does a lot of damage. This is a pretty good damage increase for Chong Yun. You can also use Favonius if you don't have Sacrificial. You can also use the Prototype Archaic or, or the Luxurious Sea Lord if you have it. If you have the 5 star claymores, you can also use them. Chong Yun C2 also reduces skill cooldown if you're in its zone, which is really nice and helps smooth out rotations. Talking about rotations, let's talk about that. Now there exists proper rotations for every team, but this is a very quick swap heavy team and in my opinion, you need to only worry about your opening rotation. And just keep in mind a few things as you quick swap and use skills. First is you want to try and funnel Shang Ling consistently as she's likely the one to have energy issues on this team out of all characters, so make sure she doesn't become a bottleneck. Second, you want to try to snapshot Shang Ling and Rosaria burst if possible. If you have to use it for iframes or the enemy moves out of Bennett's circle, that's fine and that's going to probably happen. You just want to keep this in mind and do it whenever possible. With that being said, let's start with the rotation. You want to start with Rosaria skill to get crit rate, use Chong Yun skill into Bennett burst and skill into Shang Ling skill and burst, into Rosaria skill and burst, and then switch back to Chong Yun 
and use his burst. You can also switch to Chongyun before bursting with Rosaria as that increases the chances of him triple or quad melting because there is less cryo on the field, but that makes the rotation awkward for me which is why I don't do it. Now after this you just want to switch to Bennett and use his skill and then switch to Shangling, let her catch particles and then switch to Rosaria, use her skill, switch to Chongyun and use his skill and you just keep repeating this until you have your burst back. Now I don't wait for everyone's burst to get back, only Shangling and Bennett, as both Rosaria and Chongyun have much lower burst cost than Shangling, and they can get their bursts back very quickly, as they're both cryo they can feed each other, and you are running a lot of energy recharge on Rosaria, and Chongyun only has a 40 burst cost. So you only need to focus on getting Shangling and Bennett's burst. As you can see, this team is very powerful and is enough to clear with 9 stars on the Spiral Abyss despite using a level 60 Chongyun. Which goes to say this could be a lot faster if I had invested further into him as he does do a lot of damage. This is definitely one of the most fun and satisfying teams I have played because of the quick swap. And that's it with this video. If you found this helpful, consider leaving a like. If you have any questions or corrections, let me know down in the comments. If you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to sub to the channel. I would appreciate it. I am Dark Nord. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.